Hello and welcome. This is Yomax Cinema's 2018 Film Festival Review. Our first movie this week is going to be Three Billboards Outside of Ebbing, Missouri, featuring Francis McDormand, Sam Rockwell, Woody Harrelson, and Peter Dinklage. You might be familiar with Francis McDormand from Fargo, where she had a breakout role as a pregnant police officer in a small town in the North Dakota brutal winter and almost single-handedly takes down a psychotic killer. Sam Rockwell is known for movies like Moon, directed by David Bowie's son, where he plays an estranged astronaut, hoping to finish his contract and go home, only to discover he's actually a clone. Juxtapose this against his role in Galaxy Quest, where he plays one of the fabled red shirts of Star Trek lore, basically the guy who's always expendable in every mission. His comedic turns are a great parallel to this role, where he basically melts into the sadistic, savage, angry police officer. Woody Harrelson's everyone's fan favorite, from Cheers on through a spate of movies I can't even list right now. He plays the beloved town chief, William Willoughby, a man who everyone in the town respects. He has a loving family, a good life, and yet he has personal problems of his own. Peter Dinklage of Game of Thrones fame plays a love interest for McDermott's character. In all, the casting is perfectly balanced against each other. So, leading up into the story, France McDermott's character is Mildred Hayes. She's a mother who lost her daughter seven months prior to a brutal murder. It has never been solved. There's extending circumstances. She doesn't believe the police department's doing its job. Instead, it seems to her the police department is not really going after the real problems. Her daughter's killer is still out there. It's an unsolved thing. So in the story, Mildred comes up with this idea. She's going to rent three billboards and put a message on those billboards. Tensions really get inflamed when the police chief Willoughby's second command, Officer Dixon, played by a brutal, sadistic Sam Rockwell in the beginning, informed informs his boss of what's on the billboards. This being set in a small rural town, tensions really ignite because most people believe the police chief is doing his job and he's a good guy. And there's this great scene. The town dentist, we'll just say he's a town dentist. I imagine there's two or three other dentists in the town. I mean, even a small town like Omak has more than one dentist, I think. No, I'm pretty sure. There's a great scene where the dentist is hovering over McDermott's character about to drill into her teeth with a drill and says something to the effect of, you know, our chief of police is a good man, because she's been under stress forever. She panics, grabs his hand, and, well, it's in the trailer, so it's not giving away anything. Drives the drill right through his hand, or through his thumb, in a great scene, which is in the trailer. I'm not giving anything away. Chief of police is there, Woody Harrelson, going, Did you or did you not put a drill through someone's thumb? And she's like, No. I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. No. This is really a good dark comedy. Well, comedic dark drama. They don't have good names for something like this. I mean, it's satirical dark comedy. It has a lot of elements that could be pulled from tomorrow's news. In the great bit of casting that's done in this movie, we have McDermott's character opposite her role from Fargo. In this movie, she's anything but passive. In fact, you call this woman on fire. Just when you think that Dixon's character is going to break her with his threats and his bullying, she rises up against him and throws fire against fire. Another fun thing about this is just when you think you've got a character figured out, where you're going to like or hate them, they change. It's just like when you're dealing with people in real life, where they have the surface that you can try and judge, but as you get to know them through happy or sad circumstances or brutal fights, eventually you find a kernel of something you relate to. Basically, this movie is beautifully acted, beautifully scripted, beautifully directed, wonderful cinematography. There's a reason why it's nominated for so many Academy Awards. It's our first feature in the 2018 OMAC Film Festival. I highly recommend you come and see it. It's three billboards outside of Ebbing, Missouri. I'm Derek Nansen and I will see you at the movies.